Good morning. Vlog 484. It's a sleepy morning for the pups. They can't seem to get out of bed, even though they're out of bed. Trying to throw a quick workout in, feeling pretty good. Wasn't feeling that great yesterday. Today, feeling pumped. Got a car showing up any minute. Got to whip this stuff out. Look at you, crazy hair. Can you talk about anything? About what is right over there? Don't look down at the table either. You mean right down here? Yeah. So what's left to do on the uh, the knot costume? Um. The car hasn't shown up yet, but it will. It will. But today, if you're not aware of this and you live in another country, today is election day for the U.S. and we're walking down to our poll, uh, polling place, which is right down the street. But I would say, I bet you, our polling location is the most beautiful polling location on the planet. It has a view of the ocean. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's at Duke's, uh, the restaurant, so it's there's a side, unless it's moved, but I'm pretty sure it's still there. It's always been there. But, you know, if you're out and about uh, going to the polling place and voting today, um, Good luck because, you know, anything can happen. It's been an absolute circus. I think everybody knows that. Who's going to win? Who knows? We should know by the end of the day. By the time this vlog goes live, we'll know who president. Oh, that's weird. Who the president is. Could be an alien. Is there any aliens uh, trying out for president? A surprise candidacy. <laughs> Don't they have that kind of thing? I think it should be Kathy for president. Then that would be awesome. We can all surf whenever we want. All day. Oh, wait, hold on a second. on the ballot. They did not have Kathy on the ballot. What's the yeah, deal? But I kind of broke the machine when I put it in. She, she did. She goes, we've got a problem. I'm like, oh my Kathy, God. Kathy put Kathy's ballot in and the machine <laughs> broke and it took about five minutes to reboot. <laughs> and then the Secret Service came. Oh my God. You know, you're not that important though. <laughs> we got a car back at the pad. We're going to go get it. Santa Fe, 2017. Let's go check it out.
first drive in the Hyundai Santa Fe 2017 edition. It smells really new and it should be because this is a 2017 and it's still 2016 right now. There is nothing like the fresh brand new glue smell in a new car except maybe that you know gasoline smells pretty good too. That and chocolate you know garlic bread that's that's a good smell. Strawberries strawberries good smell you know lots of good smells hey I don't know what to say but I especially like this Cobra looking design IP check this out. That, that's cool. Isn't that awesome? Why do you look so tiny? Look how tiny, you look like a little kid. Because you sit with your chair so high up. No, you sit with your chair so low. I like to be a low rider. First impression, Hyundai Santa Fe 2017, brand new. How many miles? Um, this one has 2,300 miles on it. It smells like a new car. It does smell like a yeah, new car. What nice. else, what do you like? I like the paint on the outside. Yeah, amazing. the paint, uh, I don't know what they call it yet. I have to look at the information on the car, but it's a, a dark blue rainbow metal flake. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. I remember the days where that was a custom paint job. Yeah. And now it's standard on all Hyundai Santa Fe's. Thank you very much. Kathy is finished with her, I almost said it. Her name? Oh, no. <laughs> you almost said it. I almost said the costume, name of the costume. Uh, Kathy is finished with her costume for Ellen DeGeneres. A whole day early, mind you, does not do until Thursday. That's unusual to finish so quickly. Usually I'm crying. Uh, no, now you are a costume badass. No, I'm going to go get ice cream. That's right. So we're celebrating. So we're going to go get, well, technically you're getting frozen yogurt, yeah. and I'm going to get ice cream. He's gluten intolerant. I don't know what That's the hell that means. Dairy. Well, dairy, means. gluten. What else? You can't have... Oh, well, of course I don't eat meat or fish or eggs. Birdseed. Birdseed's good. That works. I think so. Unless I find out that that doesn't. better. Stir in the pot a little bit then we're heading back to election day. You know I mean today is election day and uh, by the time you watch this we'll have a new president in the United States because uh, it'll be you know the uh, tall one or it'll be the short one. The thing about this is that you you may be celebrating because uh, your your guy won, your person won. Uh, whether it's uh, Trump or whether it's Clinton, uh, if, if you voted for them and they won, congratulations, I'm, I'm happy for you that you're happy. But if you're one of those that, that it, you voted for someone and they didn't win, then uh, I implore you to think about this one concept, this one thing. There's going to be a lot of people that are really mad today and they're, they're going to want to take that anger out on something somewhere in some capacity and complain and and, uh, and bitch about a lot of things and, and say that, that this person's bad and just a lot of this kind of stuff. But I want you to think about your response to this event. Uh, uh, your, your response to it 
it's going to determine the outcome of your own life. It's going to determine the way you look at things and the, and the, 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 the properties by which your life exists. So what I mean by that is that if you look at this as a negative thing, if you look at, at, at one of these candidates who've become president and you didn't vote for them and this is a bad thing, then it's, it's not going to be bad for them. It's going to end up being bad for you. Because you don't want to cultivate a negative personality. You don't want to cultivate a negative attitude because when you do that and you send out negativity, that's what comes back to you. You got to be very careful of that. And it goes back to the, to the standard operating procedure for how you expand uh, your mind and the way you look at things. And you've heard this probably before, E plus R equals O. The event plus your response to it equals the outcome. And that simply means that if in a, whatever the event occurs, how you look at it is what it becomes for you. It's crucial to be able to look at it in some way in some positive thing. Now, I went and, and tried to sell uh, the books at a, at a store today, and the response I got was was more or less negative. It was, they, they didn't want it for, for whatever reasons. Now, I can choose to look at that as a real bummer. It's like, oh God, another no, oh, what's going on here? Or I can choose to look at it as like, you know what? So what? Who cares? Who cares? There's tons of other stores. There's tons of other people saying yes. There's all kinds of great things going on, and I'm on the cool train. And there ain't nobody getting me off this train. Now that's a conscious choice, you gotta think about that. So, you know, you gotta look at your life and look at all the great things. And the more that you can focus and be grateful for the things you have, the better things you're gonna get. It's that simple. That's the premise for quantum physics. The observer changes the observed. We're the observer, how we look at something molds it and changes it into what we want or better. I hope that wasn't too much. This is supposed to be a vlog and not like some kind of metaphysical, you know, blah, 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 blah. But every now and then I'm gonna take you deeper, way down in there. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. This is vlog 484, uh, very awesome election day coverage, uh, fireball style. But no matter who's running the country now, it's all good, man. It's gonna work out great. Everybody's gonna be fine. All that matters is that you got out and voted, and that's awesome. So congratulations, wherever you are, whoever you are, what state you're in, what city you're in, I don't really care. You're cool, as far as I'm concerned. So celebrate today by, by checking out some cool cards, getting in a cool car, go, go to a car show, go do something fun, get some ice cream, whatever it is. And tomorrow will be awesome.